año. Having been to Haiti many times in my career as a news photographer, I've recorded many images of suffering. None of it compares to the cataclysmic suffering and destruction and death brought on by this earthquake. My days were filled with the sights, sounds, and smells of this epic tragedy as I worked the story. As I finally fall asleep at night and my mind momentarily escapes the realities of the pain around me, I'm awakened nightly by a cacophony of singing, chanting, and praying from the street outside my hotel. It's from the Haitians, all sleeping in the streets, who cannot return to their damaged and destroyed homes. The sounds are haunting and arresting, a reminder of the suffering masses whose fortunes went from bad to worse. We sing about Jesus. We ask God to give us a chance to change our lives. I lost my house. I don't have anywhere to sleep. I have seven kids. I am sleeping on the street. I would like to find somewhere to stay with them. Everybody lost everything. Everyone is sleeping in the street. We're getting sick with colds from the morning chill. We can't even get masks to protect us from the smell. We don't have drinking water. We don't know why they abandoned us at Plaza Jeremy. We ask God to change the country, to protect our lives, for the country to become prosperous, to have a life, a better life. Only God knows. All we would like is to go home, but it's the first time living in this situation, sleeping with the morning chills. We are asking God for grace, grace for Haiti, forgiveness for our sins, because we are asking if we are paying for our sins, since this is the first time we are living in this situation. We've seen other countries live in this situation, but not Haiti. Across the street was the school, I see Marie Jean's school. The wall of the school fell on her and the child, and the child has a head injury. A private doctor, he put the dressing on the child. Other than that, we didn't get any medicine, no medical care, no aid from anyone. It's in your hand. Since you're from the press, you're a journalist. You can show it to people, and, and people who want to help will help.